Hey everyone, it's Camry and Emma, and we're back for another Sunday School lesson. Last week we talked about death and life. In that lesson we discussed how Jesus helps us be a part of his new creation and gives us life after death. The lesson was more serious than other lessons, but that was because it was about the ending of our lives. This week we'll talk about our relationship with God. When God reveals himself to us, God empowers us to know God fully and experience God's life-changing presence in our lives. To start out today's lesson, we want to begin in the Engage section with the Backdrop activity. Since we are in person, we want you to find someone in your household. Both of you will need a piece of paper and find a room to sit back to back with each other. First, you will need to look at your partner's face for about a minute or so. Then sit back to back. Use the next few minutes to draw your partner's face from memory. This may be challenging, but try your best to remember what your partner looks like. Take a few moments to do this. Now that you have done this, Camry and I will show our results on the screen. Did you find this activity difficult? I did, Emma. It was, it's hard to memorize what someone's face looks like and then try and draw. There are so many details in there to keep in mind. We encourage you to ask your partner the same question. Did they find this activity difficult? Why or why not? In today's lesson, Moses asked to see the fullness of God's presence. God indeed reveals God's self to Moses, but only shows God's back instead of God's face, explaining that no one can see God's face and live. Today's Bible verse can be found in Exodus chapter 33, verses 12 through 23. Follow along, read the verse on your own, or simply sit back and listen. Make sure to pay attention to the scripture for the questions after. Moses said to the Lord, Look, you've been telling me, lead these people forward, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me, yet you've assured me. I know you by name, and I think highly of you. Now, if you do think highly of me, show me your ways so that I may know you and so that you may really approve of me. Remember, too, that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, I'll go myself and I'll help you. Moses replied, if you won't go yourself, don't make us leave here. Because how will anyone know that we have had your special approval, both I and your people, unless you go with us? Only that distinguishes us, me, and your people from every other people on earth. The Lord said to Moses, I'll do exactly what you've asked me because you have my special approval and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glorious presence. The Lord said, I'll make my goodness pass in front of you, and I'll proclaim before you the name, the Lord. I will be kind to whomever I wish to be kind, and I will have compassion to whomever I wish to be compassionate. But the Lord said, You cannot see my face, because no one can see me and live. The Lord said, Here is a place near where you will stand beside the rock. As my glorious presence passes by, I'll set you in a gap in the rock, and I'll cover you with my hand until I've passed by. Then I'll take my hand away and you'll see my back, but my face won't be visible. Now that we have read the scripture, let's move to the scripture section under Moses experiences God's glory. This story occurs right after Moses led the people out of Egypt and into the wilderness, and after the people created a gold calf to worship and received the Ten Commandments. God appeared to Moses and the Israelites in the form of a cloud during the day and a funnel of fire at night. These signs were a physical mark of God's presence with God's people and with Moses. When the cloud of God's presence would fall upon the meeting tent, God would speak with Moses and give him guidance. With all this in mind, let's answer the following questions. Why do you think Moses asked to see God's presence? When God passes by Moses, why do you think God proclaimed God's name, the Lord, to Moses? Why do you believe God answered Moses' prayer and was willing to reveal God's self to Moses? When looking at all the questions from the scripture section, the first one was interesting to me. 
I believe Moses requested to see God's presence to know and be reassured that he is there, and that all of Moses' hard work was paying off. What about you, Emma? I agree, Camry. Similarly, when thinking about the third question, I believe Moses has proven himself to be a faithful follower and that God wanted to show Moses why he was leading the Israelites and how important he was in God's plan. Moses asked to experience God's presence in three ways. First, Moses asked to know God's ways so that he could lead God's people well. Then Moses asked for God's presence with God's people so that they would be set apart from other people and nations as a witness to God's glory. Finally, Moses asked to see God's glory face to face so that he could know and experience God personally. Remembering all these, let's move on to the God is known section or the God is known in the focus section. Take a moment after each question and pause the video and answer each question. Moses first asked to know God by learning about God's ways. In what ways do you know or experience God's presence by learning God's ways, desires, or directions? Moses asked to know God by the way that God led and sustained God's people in chaotic times, Exodus in the wilderness. In what ways do you know or experience God's presence by observing and sharing community with God's people, now the church? Finally, Moses asked to know God's presence personally, along with God's name. In what ways have you experienced God's true presence? Everyone will have different answers for these questions, as they are more deep and will have longer answers. We encourage you to share these with someone in your household, and challenge them to answer the same questions, then compare your answers. Now we'd like you to turn to the practice section in your packets. Praise is a spiritual discipline that helps us express our gratitude to God. Regularly praising God transforms our perspectives and makes God's good works known to the world. After Moses and the Israelites experienced God's parting of the sea, allowing them to escape the Egyptian armies, they wrote a song of praise to God for deliverance. In your packets under praise, we want you to write four or five names for God based on your own personal experiences and understanding of God's nature. This activity will help you interpret and interact with God more. Take a few moments to do this. Let's end today's lesson with a prayer. Dear God, grant us patience. O oh Lord, to follow the road you have taken. Let our confidence not rest in our own understanding, but in your guiding hand. Let our desires not be for our own comfort, but for the joy of your kingdom. For your cross is our hope and our joy now and unto the day of eternity. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for another lesson. Hope to see you all again next week. Bye. Bye.